How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. It's time for Expenses, Expenses Review. Review. Now I've done this before in previous videos, but this time I'm going to do something a little bit different where I'm going to take my actual expenditures for the month of October. I wanted to do this again because there's a lot of nitty gritty detail that essentially reduces my expenses. And I want to show you guys how I exactly achieved this. Okay, with that said, I'm just going to go through this whole list fairly quickly and I'm going to mention the places where I was able to get money off and other ways where I do not have to pay full price even for utilities. The first thing mortgage, I don't have a mortgage. Second thing property tax and HOA, it's combined to be about $417 right now. Home repair maintenance, some people say, okay, you need to save a little bit for home repair, but I actually did not have to pay anything into home repair for the past year or so. So for the month of October is actually zero. And this is exactly how much I spent. Health insurance is actually $263 and 45 cents. Now I have to talk about how I got this to be a little bit lower because it used to be $50 higher. I do use this site called Swagbucks. And this site is basically a coupon site type of thing where you sign up for surveys or you sign up for certain product trials and then you get a bunch of Swagbucks points. What you do with these points is that you can then go and exchange it for gift cards. So I would have to say, I actually did not sign up for any products or anything. All of this is just based on referrals. And for this month, I was able to get $50 worth of swag bucks points. And then I use this to redeem for gift cards. And then I use the gift cards to apply towards my health insurance premiums because they accept Visa gift cards. I find that if I try to use Visa gift cards in other ways and you get this as a digital card, you don't get a physical card, so you can't take it around. So mostly you have to use it online. Otherwise you have to pay like a $5 fee. So that doesn't make sense if you're only getting a $25 gift card. So anyway, the easiest way for me to get rid of these gift cards is to plop it all into my health insurance premium and they allow me to use a brand new credit card every single time and I can just enter in the numbers and right away I don't have to deal with you know trying to use these gift cards and it becomes a very uh, painless thing to do. So if you guys are interested in signing up for Swagbucks, referral link down in the video description below. Groceries ends up to be $85.93. I talked about my groceries being very low, like $300, but why is it $85.93 this time? This is actual amount that I spent it on. It's not like I actually only ate $85 worth of stuff because I did go out to restaurants to eat, as you'll see in uh, this expense list, as well as I did visit my parents roughly about two times in the month of October and then gave me some food and then I took it home and then this was worth maybe like six or seven days worth of food. So I did not have to buy food uh, for those certain days. And before anyone goes around saying, oh my gosh, you're just going to your parents' place and then you're just mooching off of them. I do give them more value than the food that I take back home. I just give them cash. A DSL is $50. Believe me, I try to get this really low by using other kinds of services. It turns out as a YouTuber, I use a lot of data because I have to upload a lot of videos and these videos are in 4K. So. Next month is actually raising to $55. You guys might be wondering how fast my internet is. It's actually 50 megabits per second and I'm okay with it. Water is 3164. This is very typical. I use very, very little water, although I do wash my dishes by hand. Um, this is just how much it is. I don't use that much water. Trash is 1708. I pay every three months and I actually downgraded my trash to the bare minimum. And at this level, they didn't even advertise it. I actually have to ask them specifically, hey, I don't want the landfill bin anymore. Can you give me these overage bags? And so now I use overage bags instead of actual landfill. I only have the recycling cart and also the compost cart. So no landfill. Gas and electric is $8.95. Wow, right? Most people have like $50, $100, $200 of electric charges. This month is kind of special because in California, we have these things called California climate credit, where we get a refund of $27.70 back. If you work out the math, then my bill was actually really $36. So it's pretty dang low. Ohm Connect actually gave me another bonus on top of this because there was this one hour where I turned off my electricity and then they gave me $2.59 worth of rebates 
for doing that ohm hour. If you guys are interested in signing up for this thing, this is only available in California or Texas. You can get $10 for signing up for this service. Check out my referral link down in the video description below. Credit card payments, personal loans. I just have to put this in because I don't have any. And this illustrates if you do not have these kind of payments, then you can go ahead and put this money that you would have put in interest payments, in car payments, whatever. And then you can take it and spend it on whichever way you want, which I will illustrate that I actually do uh, later on in this video. Student loans, car loans, mortgage, they're all zero. Streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, I, I just don't watch that much TV. My main entertainment is actually YouTube. I just go do my research on YouTube, watch a whole bunch of videos on there, and then I read news sites. And this basically takes up all my time already, and I don't have any more time to go watch a bunch of you know, shows even. Gym, I don't actually have a gym membership, so that's zero. I just go run outside if I have the need. I have to admit though, I, I actually haven't ran that much these past few weeks, but I, you know, I, I'm gonna go try. Uh, cell phone is actually zero dollars. Right now I'm actually using Mint Mobile. And I have to admit to you guys, after I talked about it, right, a lot of you guys signed up for my referral and right now, I think it's been like two or three months since I used this service, about three months. I actually right now have about $1,020 worth of referral credits. I get like $30 per referral. So roughly like 40 of you guys sign up through my referral link. And now I have about four and a half years worth of cellular service of 12 gigabytes a month. So thank you, you guys for signing up for my referral. Now I don't have this expense you know, for the next four and a half years. Something I want to mention is that sometimes for these really, really good deals, it just might seem too good to be true because I would not be surprised if this company just suddenly throws its hands up and just disappear. I've had this happen before with a pager service where I bought two years worth of service and it just kind of went bankrupt. And then, you know, all my money that was put in there just kind of disappeared. So this referral, I'm just kind of looking at it, you know, with like a squinty eye and stuff. It's like, it might not even be real. I might not even be able to use this for the next four and a half years and they might go bankrupt. Anyway, if you guys are interested, I do have a mint referral down in the video description below. Right now they even have a special promotion where it's about $15 every single month. If you buy it for three months in advance and you get 12 gigabytes per month. So in total $45, uh, for three whole months worth of service. This is equivalent to what you normally pay for one single month. It actually works well for me, even though it has slightly less number of mobile towers, but it works well where I live right now, everywhere I go, I've been able to get pretty good service. I do have to mention that sometimes, I would say about 5% of the time, sometimes people have Verizon service, whereas I have Mint Mobile. And I did notice that I could not get service while someone else could get service like within Costco this one time. So you do have to know that the service is slightly not as good as Verizon, I would say. Landline, I don't have a landline, so it's $0. Car insurance, it's only $31.67. I have it with Geico, liability only. Why is it so low? I drove a really long time and uh, I haven't gotten into any major accidents. Uh, scooter insurance, $6.65, also with Geico. Um, I have it in the same account, so maybe I got a discount or something for having both uh, together. Uh, car maintenance is zero. Um, you might go, well, you know, something's gonna happen. You need to budget for this. Well, this is exactly how much I spent on the month of October. And actually for the last 12 months, I've done very, very little work on it. No oil change, no spark plug change, um, no maintenance on it at all because I haven't been driving my car all that much due to uh, my reduced commute. I, I have no commute. So then I found that the miles I'm actually uh, putting on my car is actually so low. It's it's incredible. Like, you know, a couple hundred miles. I only have to fill up one time uh, every single month. That equates to about 300, 400 miles or so every month. Gasoline, I spent a little bit more in October, $71.67. So this is about one and a half fill up, about 420 miles or so. Like I said, no commute. Parking was 21.75. You know, I go places and I have to pay for meters, parking, and then garages. Uh, fast track was $0. I did not have to cross the bridge or anything. I think the month before this, it was a little bit more expensive because this is when I did this Uber trial thing and I kept on crossing bridges. It was like 30, $40 
or so. Uh, restaurants, I actually did go to one single restaurant uh, for the month of October. I've been actually uh, increasing the number of restaurants I'm going to just, you know, because I really enjoy it. So maybe for the month of November, it might come up to be like 200 or $300. But for the month of October, it's only $27. I had curry. Fast food, I spent a total of $4.37. I went to two places, three tacos, for Taco Tuesday at Del Taco, I spent $1.50 and a two piece chicken for $2.50 at Popeye. So um, I spent this on my Uber card where if you spend $500, you get $100 back and you also get this 4%. So I try to put every single kind of restaurant thing on my Uber card, including the time when I went out for curry, I put it on my Uber card. Movies, I actually went out to the movies. I went to an IMAX. I went to the real IMAX over in uh, San Francisco Metreon. I paid $45.38 for two tickets. So, you know, I, I, <laughs> I actually, I went to see Malficent and uh, I just kind of thought uh, <laughs> it was like, kind of like a kid's movie. I didn't realize. I just kind of wanted to go to go see IMAX again because I've been to that theater. I thought it was very impressive. So I just wanted to go again, just, you know, scratch that itch kind of, and you know, it's pricey, but this is probably the first time I went to a movie in like a year. I don't know, six months, 12 months or something. So it's a very rare occurrence. Raise.com, I spent $1 there because I got a referral that's stuck in there. I'm like, oh, I gotta spend it before it expires. So I got a $5 uh, Starbucks gift card and I paid $1 for it. By the way, if you guys are interested, if you sign up uh, for raise.com, you can get $5. Uh, just for free. You can go get yourself a free Starbucks gift card. Uh, use referral code FBUSH6916. Or you can use the link down in the video description below. Clothing, I spent zero. Gadgets, I actually spent zero dollars, but that does not mean I did not play with any gadgets. You see on my other channel, Beat the Bush DIY, a lot of companies still send me a lot of products uh, for me to test out. For the month of October, I listed out all these things that I got for free. They just send them to me for free and then I just kind of evaluate them, test them, make a video about it. So I got a security camera, a hand heat warmer, that, that's a battery powered thing. I got a trail camera. You guys might've seen a trail camera that's hanging around there. Uh, that's part of like a free camera that I got that company sent to me, a solar camera and an Arduino. So all of these things, if you go to my other channel, Beat the Bush DIY, you'll see these videos over there where I test out these um, you know, electronic gadgets. So if you add all this up, I have a grand total of $1,081, which is my burn rate for this month, which is wow, right? Really, really low. I guess in this monthly expense thing, I sort of subtracted some things out. Um, you could consider as income, such as uh, the $50 gift card from Swagbucks. You can also look at food that's given to me by my parents and you can go, well, what's the value of that, right? Because, you know, I did give them cash, so do I factor this in or not? So I'm just gonna go by what I actually spent on October. So this gives you an idea of, you know, what my personal burn rate is. This $1,081 is not the end of the story because I did splurge on certain things because I'm like, wow, I have such a low burn Burn rate. If I only live this way and I don't do anything else, I think I might go crazy. So I did actually go out and bought various things. You'll see what I mean. I had fun money. I bought $700 worth of gift cards from Safeway. Now this is going to be applied towards my espresso machine. I actually have that right now. It's behind that wall over there. I put it over there. I made like maybe 12, 15 espressos already. I'm still learning how to do it well. And it's kind of like a learning experience. Now, when I got this $700 gift card, I'm already gonna get back $140 cash back. This is through my Sears credit card. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it that much more because you know you can't get it right now. Um, but for me buying these gift cards through Safeway, I got about $20 worth of groceries. So, you know, it's not really $700 I actually spent. This is part of the reason I wanna go over my expenses over here because when you look at everything I spend here, right? Every opportunity that I can get, I'm also sort of trying to reduce it in 
different ways. There's like all these different ways where I'm reducing it, such as uh, the gift cards from swag bucks, from referrals. I got more referrals on mint mobile. You know, I'm not actually paying for that. I'm using Ohm connect, which people can actually do to reduce their bill. I'm also using a lot of credit cards here and there just to do the sign up bonus. And I'm like, okay, it's kind of like this. If I spend this money and then get the referral bonus, it's kind of like getting like a really high percentage off like 20 to 40% off, uh, just for putting those expenses on these credit cards that has a sign up bonus. And then there's some minimum spend requirements. And I just put my normal expenses on those credit cards. Uh, I did spend some money on travel. Uh, my friend wanted to go see elephant nature walk when I'm going to be in Chiang Mai. So this costs $205 and 21 cents. So <laughs> I just kind of like close my eyes on this one because, uh, for me, I am not the one that actually wants to see this elephant thing It's my friend that wants to see it. So I'm like, Oh, okay, whatever. I'm not going to be like a party pooper or something. So I just kind of went with it, you know, even though it's, it's quite expensive, I think for a whole month of visiting there, you're going to spend a about $800, right? So this is like a whole week's worth of expenditure on one single day just for tickets for that one single day. So this is a very uh, spendy thing to do uh, when you're in Chiang Mai. I'm going to give something away by talking about this, which is my Tesla reservation. So I pulled the trigger on reserving a Tesla. Uh, I paid $100 for it. So I kind of put it in so that I do not have to pay for another thousand dollars because they were going to increase the prices. So I figure, okay, you know, I'm, I, I want to put this in because I have a good chance that I might actually go through with it. And I put it on my chase freedom, uh, unlimited card, which gets a $200 bonus on a $500 spend. So right off the top right there. And I'm going to think about it in terms of I'm going to spend that bonus on this Chase Unlimited credit card on this Tesla reservation. So even if I don't go through with it and I don't get this Tesla or anything, I can go, okay, well, this was kind of free reservation anyway. It's okay. eBay fees and shipping is $23 and 54 cents. This is an ongoing thing that uh, my expenses have, as you can see, my sales adds up to be $177 and 65 cents. I always sell stuff. I'm always trying to get rid of the stuff that's around. And in this case, I got rid of a lot of old stuff that I had, the stuff that I've been using. I just, you know, I'm just minimizing. So then it's just basically a lot of junk that I don't need. Uh, eBay purchases is $5 and 18 cents. So I spent some money on this, on this action figure thing, the office action figure that you guys saw in one of my videos that, yeah, it's that cheap, only $5 and 18 cents over here in my Sears credit card. I'm not going to belabor this because no one else can get this card, but I keep on getting this 10% promo and they credit you months later, maybe one or two months later. So from August, I got $33 and 75 cents. From September, I got $92.77. There's also another special statement offer on top of this. So this is not extra that you have to spend. They just go, oh, you know, if you spend so much on your credit card, you're going to get another $100. So in total, they gave me $220 worth of credits over here just for using this credit card. So if you add all this up, I don't know if this is very meaningful or anything because, you know, there's all this fun money that I spent. There's this random travel thing that I spent. So in total, in reality, I spent $1,711. Now you got to realize that I am doing all kinds of fun things, right? I'm still spending money on like a crazy espresso machine. I'm still going to like some elephant nature walk. And you know, even if you add all this up, I'm still spending at an incredibly, incredibly low level at $1,700 and 11 cents. With all this said, I did not even add in my YouTube income. Uh, my dividend income, my interest income, all these other sources of income that I have. These are mainly just expenses that I have and any kind of directly related reimbursement rebates or anything. I just kind of tied that in so that you can kind of tell how I was able to reduce each and every single bill. Yes. When you talk about swag bucks, it's like a completely different entity. You get visa gift cards. So you can kind of say, well, you can just apply that to anything really. But for me, I've been consistently applying it to my health insurance every single month that I get this, 
By the way, I get about $50 of gift cards every single month from Swagbucks. And I immediately apply this towards my health insurance. I just kind of go, oh, I'm gonna put it over there and not worry about it. So it just kind of makes this financial engine work for me. And I hope this was very informative for you guys. And just take a look at each and every single item I have. Maybe look at your own expenses and see how you can reduce it with different ways. Like I said, I use Swagbucks here, Mint Mobile, I use Ohm Connect. I use raise.com. I use a whole bunch of credit card sign up bonuses. I sell stuff on eBay. I receive food from my parents. After I go out, I usually doggy bag it. And then when I take the food home, I can eat it for like two extra meals afterwards because I usually supplement uh, whatever meat that I have. I eat very little of it and I you know, add a whole bunch of vegetables, add some rice, and then I can eat it two more times that way. So yeah, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this gives you some ideas on how to reduce your burn rate, increase your cash flow and everything. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below, let me know if you're gonna use some of these tips that I use. And as always, don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching. Oh,